Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. I'm so happy that you made it back today. I'm also feeling a little bit disgusted this morning. Disgusted is a feeling word for when something has made you kind of feel sick. I'm feeling disgusted because I went this morning to pour myself a big glass of coffee and guess what I forgot to add? Sugar, so it was really bitter. If you're feeling disgusted, your face might look like this. But maybe you woke up and you're feeling a little bit shy this morning. Shy is a feeling word that means a little bit scared. If you're feeling shy, your face might look like this. Just like Rufus. Now you already know how I like to check how I'm feeling. And that's by looking in the mirror. And I have a new set of rhyming cards this morning for you. Remember, we're going to try to find the color that rhymes with my rhyming cards. Let's see if you can figure it out. A little bit harder today. See, this says bamboo. What color rhymes with bamboo? Hmm. How about shoe? Shoe bamboo. What color could it be? I was thinking that it might be yellow, but yellow and shoe, mm, they don't sound the same. So they can't be yellow. Let's see if we can use one last clue to figure it out. Screw. Hmm. Screw, do you think you know? Yes, that's right, it's blue. Blue, screw, they both say ooh. Blue, bamboo, they rhyme. Okay, let me grab my blue mirror and I'm gonna check to see how I'm feeling. Hmm. Oh, I think I know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to point to the picture on your screen that best matches how you're feeling. Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling, like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. It is so important for you to check in on all your friends and to check in on yourself. Now we have a very special friend that wanted to share their picture today. Okay. His name is Blankany. Can we say hi to Blankany? Hi, Blankany. Look, it's B for Blankany. Now in this picture, what you don't see is that Blankany's sister is right next to him and she's throwing the biggest tantrum. She's crying up a storm. Now, how do you think that Blankany is feeling? How can we find out? Yes, we can look at his face for clues. Let's do that together. So I noticed that even though his sister is crying right next to him, Blankany is still smiling for the camera. Look at his eyes are bright and he's focused on the camera. If you think that Blankany is feeling patient, make a patient face like this. If you think that Blankany is feeling shocked, make a shocked face like this. <gasps> Let me take a look. Ooh, I see a lot of patient faces. Blankany, we think you're feeling patient in this picture. I love sharing your picture with all of our friends. Now, if you would like to share your picture and story with us, make sure you ask a parent, a teacher, or a family member to send it to the address below. All right, let's check in on our visual schedule. What's our plan for the day? 
we always start off by checking in how we're feeling. Then we do our weekly investigation. So this week we learned about community helpers and we're focusing on firefighters. Then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Now you already know I have a movement card for us before we get started with our intentional message. When I flip this card over, you're going to see a letter and you're going to see a movement that starts with that letter that we're going to do together. Ready? Da 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 da! The letter is N. N for nod. Nod your head. So let's nod our head seven times today. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that gave my neck a good stretch. Hey, time to walk over to our intentional message and see what we're gonna learn about. So we started out by remembering that firefighters are community helpers. They wear special gear to keep them safe, like helmets and special jackets and boots. They use their fire trucks to put out fires. Remember, their fire trucks have loud sirens that tell people that it's time to move out of the way so they can get to where they need to go. This helps keep people and pets safe too. So let's check in with Rufus. I think he has some ideas that he wants to share. Now remember, Rufus is a little bit shy. So let's see if he gives us some barks this morning. Hello, Rufus. Ooh, Rufus, you certainly are feeling very friendly this morning. Can we say hi to all of our friends? Hey, I think they want you to bark. Woof, 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 woof. We got four barks today. I think he's feeling a lot better. Rufus, we're going to be learning about how firefighters are heroes and that we can do things to keep ourselves safe from fire too. Do you want to learn about that? Okay, well, I'm going to put you down, Rufus, and we're going to see how we can keep ourselves safe from fire. Now remember we talked about firefighters being selfless and they go in and they rescue people when they're in trouble. Now there are things that we can do so that we don't get put in a position where we need firefighters. The first thing that we can do is we don't play with matches or fire in any way. Kids should stay away from fire. The next thing that we need to do is know what to do if there is a fire. The first thing you want to remember is do not stay inside. Head outside. Do not wait for someone. Keep going outside. If you see smoke in your home, you're going to want to get low and start crawling on your elbows and knees until you get outside. That's one way that you can keep yourself safe if you're ever in trouble. Now, I'm remembering that we have a nice song about firefighters that always makes me smile when we sing it. Do you want to sing it together? Okay, let's do that. Let's walk over to our songboard here for the grand review. And there she is, Mrs. Firefighter, with her two braids ready to sing our song. We're going to sing it two times. See if you can sing it with me. It goes like this. I'm a firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet, here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. I turn on the water and put the fire out. Great, now let's sing it one more time. Let's see. I'm a firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet. Here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. I turn on the water and put the fire out. It is so nice to have a partner to sing songs with. Isn't this song really fun? Okay, now it's going to be time to check in on our video. Today we're gonna to play a fun activity using water and numbers. For this activity, we'll need plastic plates, Sharpie, scissors, a squirt bottle, and remember to use recycled materials if you can. Step one, 
Cut out the center, a circle, out of your plastic plate. We're going to use that to make pretend flames for our activity. The plastic plate can be a little bit sharp. And I used grown-up scissors to cut. You might want to have your grown-up help you with this part of the activity. Next, I began cutting out an organic shape using the plastic from our plate. Next, I used my black permanent marker to write a number. On this flame, I wrote the number three. This is optional, but you can use color pencils or crayons to color in your flame like I did. I used red color pencil and orange crayon. You can either do this activity in the bathtub or you can bring out a plastic bin with some water like I did. Then you're going to take your flames that you cut out and because they're plastic they're going to float. I recycled an old cleaning bottle into my squirt bottle that's going to squirt water onto my flames. Then I'm going to use these cards I had laying around. You can also just call out a number. Let's start out with the number eight. Do you see the number eight? There I go, putting out the number eight flame. How about the number nine? Ooh, the number nine. That's not it, that's a seven. Oh, it was flipped upside down. Put out the number nine flame. How about the number six? Hmm, there it is. Firefighters, time to put out the flame. There you go, number six. I hope today's activity made learning fun for you. Enjoy. Now, boys and girls, remember, you can always check the books around you for more craft ideas. And you can also check Sora. Ooh, you know what that means. It's time to check our plan and see what we accomplished today. So. We checked in with our feelings, we did our weekly investigation and talked about firefighters and fire safety today. And now it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. You ready? Here we go. One, two, it was nice to see you. Three, four, it was good to explore. Five, six, I hope that it sticks. Seven, eight, so in school you'll do great. Nine, ten, can't wait to see you again. And my friends, that means that this is the end. So Miss Laura is sending you a big squeeze and a big smooch. Mwah! And she's going to remind you to read, to play, and to enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.